Please welcome KSI. Yeah, how are you, mate? Hey, what's up? How's it going? Good to see you. Good to see likewise, you. Welcome likewise. back. Uh, so, look, you've lived your life in front of the camera, but now you've allowed somebody else to control <laughs> that camera. That, yeah. This must have been scary for you. Very scary. Um, you know, at first, I was, well, was kind of just... I wasn't really sure about the whole thing. I thought, mm, do I really want someone to, you know, film me mm. throughout my whole life, you know, through the highs and lows? But, you know, over time, it kind of opened me up and, you know, I started to be a lot more vulnerable mm. in the documentary. And, yeah, it just turned out great. Like, I, I've had so many people message me being like, this has inspired me so much. This is, you know, I'm able to relate to, you know, your relationship with your with your dad or your mom or, mm. you know, your brother, you know, the, you know, having like fights, et cetera, and then how to resolve that. And, you know, even dealing with relationships as well, having to, you know, sort that out, you know, <laughs> in front of a camera, it's, mm. yeah, it was a lot. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's nice to, you know, put that out and, you know, just, be vulnerable for once and show that I am human. Yeah. And we should mention that Louis Theroux was behind the documentary. Yeah. So if anybody, Deborah, isn't it, is gonna ask, gonna be do man. you want to make a documentary of your life? You say yes to Louis. Man. Yes. Um, but your friends and family know you as JJ. Yeah. And you know, you mentioned being vulnerable and the more vulnerable, you know, and the more you filmed, the more vulnerable you became. What do you think are the main things that your audience will learn about the man behind KSI? Well, I mean, you know, there's, there's KSI and then there's JJ, you know, KSI is the big bold guy that people see on YouTube that you know is able to do the you know the outrageous things, the crazy things, whether it's uh, you know fighting people <laughs> in front of you know millions or you know performing in front of thousands. But you know JJ is the quiet, introverted kid who you know just keeps to himself and is very quiet and you know vulnerable and you know loves uh, that. You know, I, I'd said my love language is, you know, physical touch and just like being able to like being being the presence of like my loved ones and really enjoying that. It's just, yeah, it's more me. But yeah. watching the documentary, I, I mean, I see JJ and KSI as the same person, really. I know, yeah. I know it's you're performing when you're KSI, you're on stage. Mm. Yeah. But, but even, you know, when, when you're in those the moments, in-depth interviews and so on, and it's it's you're incredibly vulnerable, as you say. Mm. You are the same person, really. Yeah, well, I, I, it's sometimes it can get mixed. Obviously, with you know me just performing on YouTube and stuff, like a lot of time I'm just like myself. Mm. And uh, I think back in the day there was definitely more of a um, more of a separation. Whereas now I'm able to um, just yeah be myself yeah. and be comfortable being myself. And I think even the, my friends and family have really start to see the change in me and realize, you know, I've, I've matured over the time, over the times and just become a better person because of it. Oh, we all do. And you've got new music out, brand new single. Yes. It's called Voices. Yeah. Let's have a listen. <laughs> so tell us, tell us about the song, the, the, song, the inspiration mm. behind it. Well, this uh, I made this uh, during my uh, breakup with my uh, go, uh, well, my girlfriend, and uh, yeah, I was definitely you know confused mentally. I just didn't really know what I wanted to do. If I wanted to just be the guy that focused all on his career, or if I wanted to just you know be the JJ who's actually, you know, like wants a relationship and all of that, or try and find the balance, I was kind of lost. So with that song, you know, it's me having just voices in my head, just constantly telling me like, you know, even when I'm like in a, in a club or, you know, by myself, just constantly telling me, like, oh, should I, should I be this person or should I be this person? And just, you know, essentially me saying that I miss, you know, my, my girlfriend and that, you know, maybe I should try and fix things and, Work things out. So, okay. yeah. I like the lady in the Trump moment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be nice. <laughs> I, I took it all. <laughs> um, we can't have you in here, of course, without talking about the energy drink. Oh yes. my gosh! Mm. Children of a certain age are obsessed. Yeah. Parents not so obsessed yeah. and are driving <laughs> miles to get this oh. drink for the children to yeah. appease them. Um, Deborah, if KSI walked in to Dragon's Den <laughs> and went. 
come on, Deborah, I've got this amazing drink here. Would you invest? Well, of course, I mean, I know it's a huge success, so obviously I would have invested. <laughs> yeah, but, no, I mean, what am I going to say? Yet. All right, I don't know that. Actually, it's an interesting one because, of course, drinks, I mean, it's such a crowded field. Mm. What makes yours special against everybody? That's what I would have asked in the den, and the answer would have been you. Yeah. You know, it's, mm. it's, it what, isn't, it's not just yeah. the drink, it's the market. Well, yeah, but you, you, you with that, with the marketing. Yeah. Um, I, yeah, I guess that, you know, that's what makes the difference. But I'm interested, did you plan it to work? like this were you expecting <laughs> this to happen or has it been a complete surprise um well i, I knew it'd do all right but i didn't think it would like take off like this like we start me and logan paul we we just started you know with an idea like oh it'd be cool to just put this out see what happens and then it just went just went like TikTok went crazy over it you know it, it was all over youtube instagram people were just making videos about it all the time and people were actually just enjoying the drink people were tasting it and being like oh wow this is actually good and i think when it comes to like youtubers putting out products it's normally terrible <laughs> <No>. <laughs> or not very good so i think that's why this is actually like had quite a lot of life into it so. oh i got a follow-up question i always have follow-up questions yeah of course <laughs> so supply mm. I mean, as demand has completely outstripped supply. Yeah. Was that part of the plan? No, so <laughs> a lot of people <laughs> said that, but no, like, we, we have tried to increase the supply as much as possible, and it's just, it's still not enough. I mean, in America, it's a lot easier to get Prime. Um, it's just all over, the, uh, it's all over the place, but when it comes to in the UK, it's just... It's just hard to find. People are just mm. struggling. Yeah. See, well, and that's why they need a dragon on board. <laughs> then. Well, to, to be fair, he might be sitting in my dragon's chair soon. Uh, no, <laughs> stop, stop. Who knows? <laughs>